this video will be to discuss work schedules and how you can manage them inside of Happy Fox. Work schedules help you clearly define the work timings of your support team. You can have more than one work schedule configured based on how your team is set up. You can then choose to include them in any service level agreement management that you wish to have. An ideal use case for this would be if you have multiple teams around the world. There might be one uh, in the United States, one in Asia, one in Europe. Each one of them could have their own work schedule because they're going to be functioning at different times of the work day. And this system is going to help you manage that. So what we're going to do is go up into the menu section. And we're going to go to the third column of automation. And we're going to go down to the section known as work schedules. Here's where you see that we can define a particular work schedule that a team is involved with. And uh, I have two that are already created in here that I'll refer back to as an example, but we're going to create a new one now for the sake of this video. What we're going to do is select the working hours that, that a team does. And then, of course, you can specify whether it's on a particular day. If they work a six-day week, you can do that. If they're off on Tuesdays, you simply deselect Tuesday. Obviously, you can go through there and then also change their starting times on any particular day. If on Saturdays, for instance, they did work but only in the mornings, you can make that happen as well. Then what you would do is move on to next once you define their working day. Then if there are any specified holidays that you need to address in that particular work area, again, the holidays in Europe are different from the ones in America, which are different from the ones in the rest of the world, in Asia and other places, you can start defining them here. We're coming up on the Thanksgiving holidays here in America. And if I wanted to select a particular date for that, I would simply put that in there. And then I could go through and add additional holidays so that you don't have to go in there and manually configure this later on. The system would know that your team is not work, that this particular team rather, is not working on this particular day. Perhaps some of your other teams around the world are working on that particular day, but this particular one is not. Then you can specify the actual name of the work schedule, give a description of it, and then most importantly, put the time zone where they're located. If they are in Brussels, then obviously we need to make that into the European time zone. If it's here in America and the Pacific where I'm speaking to you from, obviously we would put that in Pacific time. So you select that and then you send it live and then that's going to be the work schedules that you have. You're also able to easily go in there and see anything about an existing work schedule as to what all it has and, and also if they're associated with any particular smart rules or service level agreements. You can also go in there and edit works, any work schedule that you have directly from within there, add additional holidays, whatever you see fit to manage. And the reason that all of this is important is you may include your work schedules in your service level agreement management. In order to talk more about this, I'm going to go over to the service level agreement area where I have created one right here. And what you can do is, obviously, you can go look more about how to manage service level agreements on one of our other videos here inside of Happy Fox University. But as you can see, the California, this particular service level agreement is dealing with the California office work schedule. So it's only going to take into account the times that that office is supposed to be working as to whether or not something is in violation of a particular service level agreement. So it's important to have work schedules if you're going to have service level agreements so that you can specify things directly when your team is supposed to be responsive so you can build that into the automation that Happy Fox provides. Thank you very much.